How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Optional. We are back with some more ActivityCon 2021. Uh, to, on this video, we're going to be doing Race Car, which was made by John Hammond, yet again, similar to uh, Bumblebee. This is one of the miscellaneous categories. I thought I'd put this in just more so as a, an eye opener as to how you maybe. I know a lot of people got stuck on this. So we basically get the following information Zoom, your login state session. Is faster than a race car. Uh, it's over before you know it. Can you find out where the brakes are? Yes, this is intended functionality. Uh, escalate your privileges. Retrieve the flag out of route. So if we try to... Uh, let's make that a bit bigger. If we try to SSH in and we put in our password, which is P-R-S-S-W-O-D, it's going to try and connect, and we're going to get a connection was closed by the remote host. Now... There are a few things that I tried with this, I will be honest, and it took a long time to actually grasp the concept, so I would try stuff like running LSLA, or LS even, and you're going to get the password prompt, and you're going to get closed by remote host. So, initially I thought this was some sort of race condition for, like that's initiated from the moment you try and initialize this, the session, um, all the way to where you get to essentially. So I was like, hang on, what's going on here? So I tried stuff like, I believe it was, is it like, it, actually, uh, if we pass SSH pass, tag P, and then password here, just make sure that works by getting it closed. Yep, nice. So the initial thing that I was trying to do was try and get a breakpoint C. So, for those that aren't aware of breakpoints, they are essentially commands that you can send SSH uh, to do something, right? So, if I, this is, control, or oh, breakpoint C is meant to spawn a command prompt, but obviously we don't get that. So, if we cancel it, obviously we end out. And I, I spent a lot of time in this rabbit hole until I, I messaged John, I was like, John, can I have a sanity check? I've tried use it, like, you can try netcat in, so challenge.ctf games and we can see an attempt where I put the wrong port in because smooth brain we get that if we do user uh, obviously we're going to get identification string so I thought a oh, while wow, if is there a way of actually passing this identification string to it um there probably are but I found a much simpler solution so if we google um sh so it, obviously this is secure shell so it's something that runs on secure uh, which is SSL, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, what programs use SSH? Or um, I believe it was uh, run on SSH. So after I, sp I said to John, like, sanity check, is this correct course? He said, yeah, you meant to connect into it. Think about what uses SSH. And it took me a second to realize what he was saying from this. So... SSH obviously is secure shell, but there are other programs that work and or that will run over SSH, right? That use SSH as a base. And one of those that I found was actually SFTP, which is secure FTP. Now you can actually use uh, secure FTP like so. Uh, the syntax is a little bit different, so it's capital P instead of lower case P. You can still use SSH pass and you can actually pass it. As you can see, we get connected and we're in. So we can do a PWD, we are in user flag. Um, can we read the root directory? No, we can't. We can do an LSLA. So that, that that's how you would connect into this box. And it really makes you wonder actually, okay, this there's something going on here. Obviously we need to find the breaks so that we can actually connect it with SSH, escalator privileges and whatnot. But it makes you realize that actually just because some, one port is branded as SSH, what other programs you use that port or what other programs run on that port, right? Because obviously, if we read this, uh, it leverages SSH uh, or secure shell and frequently referred to as secure shell file transfer. You could also try S SCP. SCP is a little bit more different. I think you would be able to pull files with SCP if you tried. Um, because if we start looking around the file system, if we look into .sh, we see a .rc file, which is obviously a file. So if we get .sh uh, slash rc and then close out let's cat rc real quick we can see it's process killing ssh and that's logging out and exiting right that's all it's doing so from that logic we should be able to if we go back into our ftp session 
if we look in here, we have an RM. So can we do RM uh, slash RC? Couldn't delete file permission to live. That's fine. But the way to actually do this is if we do echo into RC. So we just upload a blank RC file. Then connect in with SFTP again. This time we can go CD dot F uh, there. Put RC. And it's going to override it. So this time when we actually try to SSH in with our, our current user. Failed SSH pass. SSH TACP 3599 user challenge. There we go. So that's how we get user on the box. Now the next thing you've got to do is escalate our privileges. This is quite a, a common thing. So we'll hit a sudo tacl. L. Um, and we can just run anything. So in this one, we know root flag is in the root directory. Uh, and we can just cat it. No, we can't. Uh, so we just sudo su, go into root, and then we can grab flag.test. And that, that's pretty much the box. Very simple box. The main difference is it makes you think about what actually runs on these files. So not a very long video at all. Um, straight to the point, straight into how you solve it. If you did enjoy the video, I know a lot of you are enjoying these uh, Hacktivity Con videos, so I appreciate the support, guys, all the new likes, all the follows. Um, so, yeah, uh, join the Discord, follow me on Twitter. We are pushing towards 5K on, on, on Twitter now, as well as on here, so I appreciate that. Join the Discord, and I will catch you in the next video. Catch you later, guys. <laughs>